Hey, I'm Brian Posehn. You may know me from my stand-up comedy or from the TV shows I've been on, like the Sarah Silverman program. I love comic books, metal, and anything nerdy, except furries. They're gross. But that does include Dungeons & Dragons, which I've been playing with the same group of my funny friends for a decade now. So we decided to record us playing the game and turn it into a podcast, and we call it... Nerd Poker Dungeons & Dragons Brian Posey and Friends Blaine Ken Sarah Sark Don't forget Jerry Now with more Dan and Steve And less Sarah, Jerry, and Sark Hey, I'm Brian Posey and you're listening to Nerd Poker Dungeons & Dragons with Brian Posey and Friends Hey, friends. What's uh, up? Hey, Brian Hi, Brian. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Steve's not here. Uh, instead, we have uh, Reverend Jim Ignatowski. He's got to be playing for Steve. Steve's not oh, here, man. No. <laughs> uh, that's, that's correct, Alex. Uh, Steve's going to miss this one in next week's, uh, but uh, it just happened so last minute I didn't. Uh, you can't replace him anyway, really, right, guys? Exactly. Yes. I tried wearing his flesh, <laughs> and it just didn't fit. <laughs> um, no donors, because I've been home. God, I love being home. I like the road, too, but... You can play Xbox and not stuff. Not as much, and, yeah. And I'm you know, learning guitar. You know what's great about home is that's where your stuff is. Learn how to cook Tex-Mex. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what? His personal I chef. am learning guitar, that was, though. That was the craziest thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> that's an old Mr. Show sketch. Uh, but no, I, I'm working on Bob and David and fucking having a blast. It's yes. not Mr. Show at all. No, not at all. <laughs> it's not at all Mr. Showy, except for all the guys from Mr. Show and the ladies. Um, what else? I'm old. We're all How old. How right? old are you? Uh, really fucking old. I uh, just saw Coachella p- photos and and uh, I think just it just it was I was annoyed in print. Like, not even hearing the music or hearing what these kids are going to check out. Just seeing pictures of people enjoying their their Saturday afternoon out in the desert. And, music festivals. And Grumpy is just like, what the They'll fuck? be done in five years. Like, there's just no room, I think, in intelligent yeah. society for, like, Teenagers just in the mud listening to garbage, right? Like it's miserable. Like if you go was garbage now, playing Coachella was, this year. No. <laughs> I was done after the S Festival, so yeah. <laughs> I went to an Oz Wall Fest. of Voodoo and yeah. the Clash. Enough. You know, I went to an Oz Fest, which is Coachella for people that you know shop at Hot Topic or are forty years <laughs> old and have pot tits. And you're, uh, and you're both. <laughs> yeah. You, have, yeah. you know, you have great pot side boob. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't do that anymore. Like, I would get fucking uh, heat diseases, you know, from being <laughs> on the sun. <laughs> what, like third degree burns? <laughs> yes. Diseases. That sun's Funny. trying to give yeah. you something. I got I got lockjaw last time I went to Magic Mountain. Jesus Christ. Because I got dehydrated, I guess, or something. Huh. And my, I'm like, what the hell's wrong? And my jaw started locking I didn't locking know that up. was a thing. I didn't either. And then I went to the uh, infirmary or whatever, and they laid God. me down and yeah. said, you're dehydrated. Well, did you guys ever get AIDS from going to the zoo? <laughs> I've gotten AIDS at the zoo like four or five times. <laughs> what zoo are you going to? This great zoo. It's called the LA Zoo, and they let you uh, go and fuck monkeys until they bite you and the police yeah. come. It's in that's, West Hollywood, yeah, right next it. to I the Chipotle. Like. Back it up. <laughs> <laughs> they just they let you to the police come. It's a great arrangement. Oh, no. I really recommend it. I think most zoos would actually let it work that way. There's not <laughs> not a lot of zoos that stop you when you start just having sex with monkeys. Thank goodness. Blaine. <laughs> last time I got something from a monkey was uh, uh, when I went to a party with uh, Peter Tork. I got nothing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> listeners, he wore a little toque like yeah, Peter Tork did. He was a hat. monkey, you guys. I actually, I, in the I, I 1960s. I, you know what? I love Peter. T- did, uh, uh, did you ever see uh, uh, go to Paul Kozlowski shows at the old uh, oh. HBO workspace down on Seward? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I remember, I remember he ha- he would do like a, a Paul Kozlowski is really super funny, and he would have these variety shows. And one of his guests was Peter Tork. And Peter walks out on stage. Nobody knew he was there. And he has a keyboard. And he uh, he has a coin. He goes, 
heads, monkeys, tails, Rachmaninoff. <laughs> and he flipped the coin and it was tails, so he played a Rachmaninoff suite and it was insanely good. Like wow. he was a cla- he's a classically trained musician. Huh. Uh, but I, I, I wonder what he would have played. Maybe Auntie Griselda or something if it, if it was heads. <laughs> Anyway, my wife. The liquid uh, paper theme. My, my uh, wife. My wife. My, <laughs> nice. My wife went, right? uh, wrote the best uh, song parody ever to a monkey song. It was uh, Pat and I were going to use it in our uh, stand-up movie uh, as a, a parody guy was going to use it. So we had all these parody songs that Pat and I had written. Okay. And one Melanie came up with. So she sat on my face. Now I'm eating her beaver. I'll never eat God. beaver. I love that beaver. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. My wife wrote that. I had to marry her That's after right. she She's wrote that shit. Wait, wait, did you propose right after oh, she yeah, gave you that? Much. All right. Like, Ow, hold on. My knees are telling me to get down. <laughs> so Honey. dumb. <laughs> uh, let's jump in. Oh, what yeah, happened? Elves and stuff. Yeah. All right, so you guys are at the uh, HBO workspace on Seward. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? Flip a coin. So, yeah, we uh, the last episode just fought that Sky Snake thing, right? Oh, yeah. So, the Skyotes? Yeah. Oh, that was Skyotes. the week before, yeah. And then, uh, but he ate the my zombie ate Skyote. Scary, yeah. And so, oh, yeah. I, I was hoping I could try to cut him out, but we'll see if he's still alive. The Skyote was named Steve Martin, is that right? That's Reanimated. It. Yeah, well, I, I, let, I, let, uh, I let Hug name him. <laughs> That was a mistake. Should have been uh, should have been Meeve Starton. Yeah, Gern Blanston. Because he had the arrow in his head. All right. Oh, oh that's right. Uh, it took seven days, but I get it. <laughs> that's a song I wrote for you. <laughs> All right. It's no eating or beaver. <laughs> uh, what is? <laughs> She uh, also did big titties tonight. Uh, <laughs> big titties, <laughs> big titties tonight. Yeah. Uh, wow, I, I, I didn't even have to tell you the original. You figured it out, that. You know, I, uh, my scorpion. Yeah, I had a private investigator to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> my scorpion's parody was uh, "Here I am, thought you'd like some sugar cane." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it, it was uh, sort of a, it was a side piece with my uh, lover boy parody. Everybody's lurking by the. Meat bin. <laughs> what? Weird Al would not even touch that with a million foot pole. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> As well, he shouldn't. Mm. Uh, yeah, so we got we made a couple hours progress towards the city, right, Blaine? But like, we're still it's still like you're, you're still a day away. A Dawn is about to break. You're, you're like uh, the sun coming oh, out we're tomorrow. Like, we're like three so. hours short of a day away. Yeah, it's like you're uh, you're in Gary, Indiana. You could probably make Milwaukee by sundown. All right. Put it into horrible road terms. Sorry. Sorry. So, yeah, Nausicaa wants to stick a sword in this sky snake and see if she can oh, save Steve Martin. He's only been in there for like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so there's a uh, there's a weird sort of uh, uh, big blue snake with sort of vent gills and fins and flaps and stuff on it. Steve! Like, so- like a uh, like a like a cooey loach if you're a tropical fish fan. Steve, and it's sort of I hate uh, freshwater uh, aquarium. It's, it's really pretty. No, but it's dead she now. Was furry so. too, or yeah, it's kind of like a uh, the Atreyu, what's the, whatever that thing's name is. It's but a it's Lux a, dragon. It's a snake, and, and when I say feathers, almost like reptilian feathers. feathers you know the way they would evolve into scales eventually, because sure. all all birds used to be like dinosaurs. the Aztec god Quetzalcoatl, mm-hmm. right? Not so loud, he'll hear us. <laughs> Steve, are you in there? Steve! I like the, I like the Tex Mexicotl. Have you had that? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway, all right, we're we starting. Mm hmm. All right, uh, uh, hey, uh, welcome to Nerd Poker with Brian Posehn and friends. I'm mm-hmm. Brian Posehn. No, Hi, friends. You are not. Well, I'm sorry. Brian. Have, uh... Sorry, it was that weird comment that passed over. I thought it was you for a second. And we're back. <laughs> so we're uh, we're I'm, looking at the dead body of I'm this big open. serpent. All right. So uh, uh, what are you using to cut him open with? It's, uh, long sword. Okay. Uh, I, for a second, I thought there might be uh, uh, there might be some sort of electrical charge, but the thing's dead. So the that's right. If there's any discharge, it might be the the way you might get electrocuted from a capacitor, even though it's unplugged because it's stored up energy. So check you this guy out with his electrical knowledge. Mm-hmm. Whoa. We got a nerd amongst us. <laughs> well, I am a, a big fan of electric Al Yankovic. Where's your Heath kit, nerd? 
I'm going to make a uh, gun out of a potato and electrocute you. And uh, then I eat the potato. It's easier to make one out of a lemon. Uh, how about my Chevy Citation? Oh, I would have gone Gremlin. No, I had a Chevy Citation. Oh, yeah. Chevy Citation. That was the commercial jingle for a horrible car I had. <laughs> Matches the car. My dad bought one. Uh, uh, there was a huge hailstorm in Dallastown, Pennsylvania back in the 80s, and it damaged all these cars over at the Chevy dealership. My dad walked over and got a huge, massive deal. Nice. It had dents all over it. <laughs> it's like, oh, I have the Edward James Olmos of Chevy Citation. It's supposed to look like that. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Anyway. I'm cutting Steve out, and I'm in the Blue City. Bye, guys. Well, let's go. Fun. No, is, is Steve is Steve the on end. live in there? Right, jump ahead nine episodes. Laverne and Shirley are now living in Los Angeles. Is Steve still undead in there? Uh, you can uh, you sort of uh, you stick the sword in. You cut this thing open. There's weird blue blood every place, and uh, uh, I like it. Though. It's very nasty. I rub it on my face. Yeah, you're you're sort of into it. You understand these things, and you kind of know a little bit about these things because you're from this. You're from the area. Uh, the uh, the uh, the other three of you just sort of repulsed. Mm-hmm. You uh, <laughs> Get you, re- you reach into where the lump is and you you uh, uh, snap some ribs aside, and you pull the uh, your scyote out, uh, and uh, still undead. It's still, of course, alive because of your spell. Cool. But it's all completely mutilated. All the bones in it are completely crushed because it was. Swallowed by this thing's powerfully muscular digestive system, so uh, uh, the wings are crushed, the legs are crushed. It's all, all right. kind of mangled and weird and chewed up. I tussle its hair. I say, "I really loved Cruel Shoes. Thank you so much for that." And then I cut its head off. <laughs> okay, so the, you're gonna sort of break the spell. Yeah, on it. yeah, yeah. Is that a humane thing to do? Would you want to do that? I, I know you're kind of evil. I don't. I don't. Would like, you want it to suffer? It's it's a cleanliness. Like I don't I don't want unfinished business laying on the ground that someone could trace back to me. All right, I'm just checking. Just playing an evil's advocate here. Oh, did you hear that? They just shut down the main reactor. We're uh, we're gone for sure. <laughs> oh no! Did you hear that? They just brought on Nikki Azalea. All right. Uh, so that happened. All you right. Just watch this guy say goodbye, Rancor style, to a. Uh, Mutilated, undead uh, sky coyote. He's all covered in blood. She. It smel- smells great. She's she. all covered I'm sorry, in blood. I'm sorry, she. Yeah, I'm a lady. I don't know if it's sad or just horrifying. <laughs> hmm. She doesn't make eye contact with anybody because she doesn't care what other people think. Oh, uh, she just starts walking to the city. Oh, I didn't know you were pink. <laughs> <laughs> I am. She's this character a- is based off pink. <laughs> She's her own woman. And what color are you right now? Uh, Let me get really racist. I'm about six hours away from not being blue anymore. All right. Okay, cool. What? Weird. Yeah. Interesting. Am I already starting to be visible? Yeah, well, it's, it's sort of dark right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are... What time was it last time? I'm trying to remember. I think it was like it was like 6 a.m. Like We saw the sky snake when the sky was barely light enough to see anything. Okay. What's going on? How long are we at? And you're awake. <laughs> all right, now, Are you Brian? trying to gauge whether or not they could see my skin at all? Yeah, you don't really notice anything different. Well, now you're, lo- <laughs> now you're looking for it. But... With clear as he'll cleanse her in a cup we, we met her in the daytime, didn't we? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah you She's did. blue. Yeah, all she's right. blue. Oh, okay. Look like a, look like a blue elf. Yeah, but uh, we thought we she was a dark elf. Well, what color are they? It's because I was extra just evil looking. Like uh, I had that yeah. striking sort of unfortunate look that a, a lot of drow have, where I had red eyes and. All right. Yeah. yeah. I thought drow were were black. Well, yeah, things are yeah, a little different here. Elf. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm not that weirded out by the killing of the thing because I I kill I put things out of their misery all the time. So yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, you were more weirded out that I was doing a lot of religious chanting, right? Like, yeah, because it's not one I'm familiar with. My cousin was uh, was a priest, but he didn't pray to the same uh, dark god that you do. Well, Nazgul will tell you too. Like, she's she's figuring her god out because she 
had heard a lot of stories that maybe this was the goddess of outcasts and really wanted to align herself with maybe an up and coming god who was looking to take things over. But uh, now that now that she's healed, she got that little Healy bubble from doing a gross ass ritual. She's like, oh fuck, is there actually a god paying attention to what I'm doing? <laughs> she's like, oh no. I, <laughs> it sounds like the mob. Up and coming gods. Well, things up. you know, uh, she was higher status and a little more clean uh, in her appearance when she lived uh, down in the Underdark. Hmm. But since she's been excommunicated, she's gone a little feral. She used Got to actually it. be interested in that sort of Tyrion Lannister kind of political subterfuge, but hmm. she uh, totally went berserk kind and murdered her off, husband yeah. and uh, got cast out for doing things the sloppy way. Hmm. That'll do it, right? <laughs> a little backstory for Come it. on. Like it. Story of my life. So what, uh, is it? Is it light yet or still? <clears throat> uh, no, not really. All right, well, let's be traveling then. Yeah. Yeah, you were going to try to do an illusion, right, where we could. Yeah, I had cast one. I don't think Yeah, I, I think we were I... just about to get going when the uh, Sky Snake right, took yes, our plane correct. over. So let's do it. We're walking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Moving towards the city, trying to make... Good time. Illusion up, trying to cover us. Okay. Uh, so you guys are, uh, how far away from the, the road are you? Are you heading think, straight for the city or are you going to hug the road? Uh, I'm What's not sure what that means. Yeah. yeah. I mean, are you going to, if you just went straight, like as the crow flies on foot. Right. You so could like just walk straight the, towards the, the city. Occasionally. But it but. As it is, your uh, the the road, I guess, is maybe a couple of hundred yards to your left, mm-hmm. and you could follow that, and you would be in constant in constant peril of being spotted or whatever. Right. I mean, these are just yeah what you're what you're considering. I, uh, uh, I think although, we're sort of staying between the woods and the road, or the or the cliff and the road, whatever is there. Nausicaa is super paranoid because she just hates as covered as we things. can be, but as direct as we can be too. Yeah, yeah. I think plus we've got an illusion up that hopefully mm-hmm. no one can see from the road or above. All right, so are you just are are, are you going to shadow the road or are you going to try to forge a path? I'm fine I guess going that's a little more forgy path you through the woods. Yeah, just yeah is the road super windy? And I, I feel less confident about encountering giants than I do with wild animals. Mm. That's why I want to stay away from the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Although we're going to the city full of giants, so. Right, right. We're going to try to meet <coughs> as few of them. All right, let's try, and, let's try and uh, head more straight towards the city. Okay. If that means crossing the road, we'll figure it out when we get there. We'll cross that. <laughs> 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 Nardy Johnson falls off a tricycle. What are we doing? What's my alignment? Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, you come in, you go, uh, 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 hey, baby, what a boogie. Master Wayne, something's happened to Harvey Dent's widow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and action. What? What am I? Perfect. That's a print. <laughs> That's lunch, everybody. Brian, can I uh, talk to you in, the, uh, in your car on the way home? <laughs> <laughs> One take, both same. <laughs> you totally twisted your beard sideways, leaning into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll say Nausicaa's... That's my beard, you guys. Nausicaa's kind of just scraping viscera off of her arms. Oh, and wow. It's like you're rubbing oh, it on neck. Yeah, it's weird. She's not as paying attention as much as she used to. Huh. She's what? The sun's coming up. She's uh, uh, starting to get distracted. Got it. Let's let's roll. Is she like a vampy? I don't know. She's a weirdo. Hmm. She's just super antisocial. That, okay. That too. So uh, you guys sort of she uh, has night vision. She's like an eleventh grader. <laughs> Drowsy way better at night. She starts to go a little blind in the daylight. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It's like she just went to the lens crafters and had those weird drops. She get those goofy uh, glasses put on. Which ones? Those the fake, fake plastic film with the cardboard temples. Oh, where she looks like she went to see a fifties uh three D movie. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god, we went to see uh, Ice Pirates. Was that in three D? No, I'm thinking of a uh, Space For, Hunter, the Legend of the Ice Pirates would be awesome in three D. It was wasn't that good in two D. Well, <laughs> that's why it would be awesome in three D because it'd be like, well, at least the wall is coming towards me now. Uh, that space herpes bit, and that's all I remember. By the way, is the, the are the new Star Wars releases 
special editions or not special? I heard they were restored to original. They're they are special, special edition. edition. Uh, no. They're, I think they'll have to do that eventually. Cock. I got the. Di- I thought that would be the first thing Disney would do. But They're coming. They'll do it. Yeah, but somebody was telling me that. And they can do that- multiple editions. Somebody was telling me that they still have to get Lucas to sign off on it, even no, though he's they, out. I thought I know, but that kind of level of director control, though, like if that's where he left it, he directed it. Wait, did he direct Star Wars? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> hey. yeah. He says. So. I don't know. Yeah. How'd that happen? I don't know, but yeah, I can't. If I can't. you ever read the original script, it's, it's highly questionable. <laughs> I just want to look at a bunch of Ralph McQuarrie paintings. Can I just do that the next you time I want to watch the movie? It's, yeah. It's still a creature feature. Holy shit. I just want to flip I know, through a Joe Johnston go. book. It's, I think it ends soon. The so end of the April, there. you said, right? Yeah. Do they have the Check. Battlestar Galactica stuff there? They have some. Fuck. If you're in L.A., come take me to that because I have a hard time getting out of the house. There's four or five original Star Wars. Where is it? Matt's and drawings. Creature features in Burbank. Oh, cool. Ralph okay. McQuarrie is, is like my favorite. Yeah. yeah. He's a good screensaver. Yeah. His stuff for his, but his also stuff like for, his covers for for books in the sixties or seventies. He just yeah. he just did. I mean, when there was all that science fiction work to be had back then, yeah. I mean, he was prolific. The uh, the pre production stuff for Battlestar Galactica, the original uh-huh. one, makes it look like the coolest thing you've ever seen. Yeah, yeah wow. it's just, insane. Like it looks like Chewbacca if Shag drives. would have designed <laughs> Battlestar Galactica, no, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was really amazing. Like super stylistic and his stuff, and like Ron Cobb stuff, I really love too. Like for Alien and a multitude of other stuff that he did. But you know who I really like for for uh, designing science fiction movies is that guy Bruce Valanche. <laughs> And, <laughs> and we're back. How we doing? And we're back. How are we doing on time? We lo- we log in some hours. Yeah, you guys are uh, you guys are just sort of like doing some flight time, hanging out down at uh, Dave and Buster's. And we're there. And we're there. Okay. And the the end scene, you guys are eating falafels. <laughs> so you're walking through the woods. The woods are blue. The uh, the sun is coming up. The sun is not blue. It's regular. Uh, you're sort of trying to. You're heading as the crow flies on foot towards the city. You're not quite sure what the train is like. I'm sure Nazca has a little bit of a better idea of what the what's what's going on. But uh, it's maybe seven, eight in the morning, so the sun is up. It's pretty light. You can see what's going on. Uh, to your left, I'd say at this point, uh, maybe a half a mile away or almost a mile away, you can you know that the road is over there. Uh, the city is ahead of you. It's probably a day's walk through the woods if you make good time and action. Do I see any like little little teeny like? And you're all dead. Uh, all right, thanks for listening, you guys. Like chipmunks or shrews or anything? Uh, no, what in the woods? Yeah. No, nothing yet. All right. I, I mean, it's not heavy woods yet. There's clumps of trees. You're still sort of on sort of the steps. I like having a little drone scout, even forest. if it's small and useless. So like, I'm looking for something I can just. Common deer. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh no nothing All nothing right. yet you see some birds I mean you'd have to you'd probably have to sit down and make a trap yeah I'm not interested in yeah. losing time All right keep going yeah mm-hmm. keep going. sure fast forward and you're all dead nah I'm fucking it keeps really happening you died so <laughs> many times this episode uh you're moving through the uh through the trees and everything it's actually kind of nice oh. Uh, you guys are all. Uh, uh, if you were down any hit points, you're up another hit point because. Like uh, uh, and uh, I'm going to assume that you guys are sort of swapping off, learning how to uh, uh, relearning spells and such. Indeed. Yep. And uh, you're sort of if you're keeping track of your rations, I would say you're down three for the last three days. Okay. Uh, so you know you're eating snacks every now and then you might find like a giant some sort of giant uh, forest crab apple yeah or like a delicious. Co-cunt. I think we were at seven days of food and water last episode, so I think yeah this you really haven't ha- sat down. So uh, you guys find a nice little clearing and you sit down and you have a wonderful picnic. Oh. <laughs> the teddy bears show <laughs> up. Do, 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 are we at noon yet? Do, do. Uh, no, you're gonna still keep moving. Once we get to noon, I should be done with my thing. Uh, okay, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. What's your thing? Blaine will tell you. Okay. No, I'm not saying anything. You're not? Or, no. Well, it's superficial, as far as they know. 
It's superficial or super official. But if they notice anything, I can explain. Has the light? Is Do there I light? notice anything? Well, you you notice that uh, uh, that Nausicaa isn't blue so much anymore yes. as 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 a uh, uh, sort of inky pitch black. Oh, okay. That looks more and, drowish. And but not in a drow way. What? Like extra black. Yeah, like cartoon black. Like like her lines are drawn on with a white pencil. <laughs> Just weird. completely like weird Hanna Barbera black. Okay. She getting a tan? What's going on with you? Oh, well, we're going into the city at night, so I wanted to be prepared. City at night. I like it. <laughs> city at night. Oh city at night. Also, this horrible music. Why is Every time I Why is Ted Knight sort of singing the door? <laughs> I, that's the downside of <laughs> my powers. I, every time I change color. Uh, no, I, I, yeah. It, it makes the DM sing. My hurry is strange <laughs> when you're a Gavin McLeod. It okay. does have other Good benefits, what, what I'm doing. Did I mention yeah. I wrote the, uh, I, I the hit parody lurking by the meat bin? <laughs> meat bin. Everybody's uh. lurking by the meat bin. <laughs> Everybody wants to have some chops. Oh, uh, meat uh, bin uh, means butt, right? For fucking. Uh, 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 mm. uh, mm. Cause mm. it's hot vinyl. Check it and see. I got a feet a blister on the back of my knees. Oh, I sure know better than to wear my short pants. <laughs> hot vinyl, hot vinyl. Hot Bow. vinyl. This is a song about sitting down on uh, seats that are too hot. Think I'm going to lose my mind <laughs> with the graphs on my behind. <laughs> it's starting to glow. And anymore, I have to pay for it. Is vinyl <laughs> even a thing anymore? Is there anything made out of vinyl? Is it still a, a material? Uh, records, I guess. Jack Black has been converted con entirely to vinyl. You mean Jack White? Oh, Jack White. Yeah, I'm sorry. Jack White is the Jack Black of music. <laughs> and Jack Black is the Jack White of comedy. Weird. It's weird. It, it is. It's very... Uh, in Russia, Yang Ying. <laughs> Hey, why don't you guys talk amongst yourselves while I figure out what's going to attack you? <laughs> All right. Uh, um, so, how many times are we seeing Mad Max during the the first oh week? God. It comes up uh, every every time. Every time my balls refill. <laughs> yeah, I am I'm fucking so into that movie. Yeah. It's, How's your refractory I, period I, doing? <laughs> exactly. It needs to hurry up and come out before real life is actually Mad I, Max. I'm going to try to see it twice at a time. <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. It does. What if it sucks? It won't. It won't. There's know. certain movies. I'm, I'm really not worried. You and I'm trying to do actually see less trailers. Like, yeah, I'm not going to totally watch not, anymore. Yeah, yeah, not looking at the trailers because uh, they're showing too much. Every time I hear a trailer is good, I'm going to go, oh, great. That means I shouldn't see it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I will just decide ahead of time I'll like this movie enough to go see it. And that'll be that. Because, yeah, it, yeah, people it looks are completely right. People are so excited to spoil shit for you now. Yeah. Like, the fact that they just released all that. Like, Age how of Don Ultron Draper stuff. died. Well, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but you can watch that whole fight from Age of Ultron. Oh, I know. The whole Hulk. They showed it. Fight. They showed it oh, last no. night. Really? I just ignored I it. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, watched two I seconds of it and realized it how long it was. Here's a clip, and it's like the whole fucking thing. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. It was on some talk show last night. Huh? Don't do it. Now, uh, which which show uh, is Star Wars attached to? The trailer isn't there a Star Wars trailer attached to one of these movies or no? It would make sense. I mean, yeah. we've seen the one trailer. Yeah. Oh, boy. Which I'm I excited about. The trailer for Dang. Phantom Menace. Hmm. I love that Phantom Menace trailer. <laughs> it, it had so much potential. It looked like good things were going to happen. I and remember. Then, like, everything turned out to be nothing. Everything in that trailer was just nothing. I'm, I watched it on my, you know, 1998 computer mm -hmm. so many times. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Just like, yeah. oh. Is that what year that came out? 99. 99. And so, yeah, that trailer Holy came out like Christmas shit. of 98. And yeah, that I. Fucking long ago now? Yeah, man. We are ancient human beings. Yeah. I hate we. Had, I don't know if you had, but I had long written off Star Wars by that point anyway, so it didn't uh, really matter. But no, I, I went. I uh, I got it up for that. I mean, I had, I hated the special editions, but I. um No, I was excited for Phantom Menace. What I did was 
I had bought a ticket for a noon showing, and then um, one showed up at that one over Ain't by got uh, time to take a where Oswald lives. Uh, <laughs> uh, what you know the Vista. Yeah, a, a midnight show came up at the Vista, and a bunch of us went to that. Yeah, and that's how it got ruined for me. But I still had the ticket for the following. Oh, I had morning. the same thing because I saw somebody in line, yeah. and I got into the showing yeah. before I was waiting for. So then I still went to the noon yeah. show, even though yeah. I hated it the first night. Yeah, but. So I was like, double hate it. I was like, sure well, maybe I was too high. Maybe I was too nope. excited about it. You know, the uh, you know, my hopes were too high. <laughs> no, it just sucked. Yeah, that's all. The only thing that looked good to me from the trailers was uh, Qui Gon coming out of the. I thought most woods. of the visuals, if not all of them, were good. Like, I didn't yeah. have a problem with any of the visuals. I was like, the, all the monsters look pretty cool. Yeah, even but it looked like it looked like stuff was going to happen, and then none, yeah. none of it was anything. Yeah, the plot was honestly like at the end of the day, it was just the fact that it was about tariffs, and then like you didn't even really know what was happening most of the plot. Like that yeah, was I really don't much about it at all. Yeah, like it, try uh, to describe episode one to people. It's like things were like Jar Jar, just and the pod race and, sticks out, and some of that. Did we talk wizard. about the machete order yet? That whole thing. Yeah, oh, it doesn't I, help. How me. You, you're supposed to show I someone who has never seen the movie. It, yeah, yeah. I think uh, it's not too bad. I can't. I you can't treat episode it. one like supplemental material, like you like. Oh, that's a thing you could see. I can't. I can't even. I can't treat it as anything. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing redeeming in that because it's all. It's completely right. I tried watching episode one with my seven year old, and she was like. By yeah. the way, you guys, Blaine is going through a book while we. Uh, it's true. He's trying. On and on it's and called on. Dianetics. <laughs> Maybe you should read it instead of making fun of me at every. Hour. Let's take a quick break. Maybe dipshit will be done reading his stupid. It's called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! We're back. Wow. <laughs> We're and back. And five minutes. Perfect. <laughs> oh man. My farts this week. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. Well, no, he was doing a mouth fart. Farts so bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> My farts this week. People no. were using their mind's eye to think that was a real fart. I'm very offended you ruined my radio theater there, Brian. I'm sorry. I thought I was telling you I it was like a radio five-minute fart. And theater. Um, <clears throat> no, these ones, I don't know what's going on with my stomach. I think I'm dying. Are you, you know, rotten inside? <laughs> are you eating dairy a lot? <laughs> No. Dairy will do that, even if you're not lactose intolerant. Did, as you eat as you know. of, did you eat a lot of poi in Hawaii? Um, no. A lot of alcohol? No. Uh, oh, have, that. Yeah, that'll just destroy me. Have you been have suffocating you your own small shit? mammals in no. your anus? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, have I? Because if you, if you shit, then eat your shit, it doubles the stink. If there's a dead <laughs> animal you in your butt, they, their Actually, bodies two, expand. Two negatives uh, make a positive. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's super concentrated. <laughs> it smells like flowers. Are you a Double scientist? Positive. Kind of. <laughs> it all depends on what you mean by scientist. You're if you mean fucking idiot, no, no. then yes, <laughs> oh, I'm a scientist. <laughs> I'm super good at shit smells. <clears throat> uh, Follow uh, us on Twitter, everybody. <laughs> uh, so are we, They just linger. It's like they don't go away as easily. Your farts. Yeah. These. Uh, have you been eating a lot of grease in your diet? <laughs> I don't know. Is that, that, that? W- it'll make it stick to stuff. Your farts <laughs> will stick to is furniture. Is your butt That's haunted? That's not true. Your clothing, yeah, it's I true. think your butt's haunted. I'm going to call. You have a higher particular. The higher ups at Earwolf rate. and Wolf Pop and see if we can get a spinoff show of fart science. <laughs> where we just <laughs> discuss the science of I farts. think like that would be the last thing you'd want is to have an actual <laughs> doctor tell you what's happening with your butt. That's like, true. <laughs> like measuring That's the true. elasticity of your sphincter. The worse it smells, yeah, the healthier a, you actually are. Well, I did have a colonoscopy uh, a couple years back, uh-huh. and uh, the doctor, uh, you know, that gives you farts when you get that. Cause right. He, well, right. He shoves did you, uh, at you and then pulls it out, so there's all some this air, air sneaks inside. In. So, did, so, so did, it's almost like a like more of a queef. Yeah. Did Wait, he, is that uh, your segue into the monster by bringing queef stuff? <laughs> did he give you an extra stitch for I the did, wife? Uh, I did a vagina fart out of my ass, and it uh, felt really good. Nice. Uh, <laughs> um, no, but... Uh, you just kept apologizing? No, actually, <laughs> I went the other way because I'm me. Uh, I said to the doctor, 
I acted like I had something really important to ask him. <laughs> and I had him come close. <laughs> and then I just fucking ripped one. And my wife, oh Melody, my the same person who what thought. What's wrong with you? The same person who came up with He's that. He's a parody. medical doctor. I know. He went to school for years. Melody couldn't stop laughing. She <laughs> she was it, totally embarrassed by me, but then also couldn't stop laughing. And he thought it was funny. Like, he has people fart on him all the time. But the way I did, I sold it because I'm a professional. <laughs> you sold it. <laughs> but, uh, professional farter. <laughs> it's a, uh, uh, God. Was, did you put like a little twist on it? <laughs> Dr. Edelstein, come over here. I, I want to ask you a question. He walks over. And just, bruh. <laughs> Sounds like somebody peeling That's out in a jet ski. <laughs> like, ah! Well, you're also under <laughs> you're under drugs. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. so I oh, came out of it, and I was yeah. out of it, right. and I thought it would be funny. It was funny. I right. stand by my... Did you shit on him a little, too? Or? Probably. That's cool. Have you been practicing Air for shit. next time? Did you, uh, uh, hey, uh, ask me what kind of insurance you have? <laughs> ask you what kind of insurance yes. I have? That's the only setup I can think of. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just do a quick hey, before Blaine. I lose interest. Hey, hey, Blaine, what kind of insurance do I have? Brown Cross. We'll be right back. Oh, well, Boom! Uh, thanks. Uh, if anybody has any Arnica gel, we don't, God, we don't I really have hurt, to be right back. I really hurt myself on that one. I hope I hurt people's ears. Brown Cross. Because you just hurt my brain. I know. Fucking boo. We're like a brown star, really. And now my butt will be singing Chumbawamba as I get knocked down in the voice of Donald Duck. <laughs> we have to pay for all those things. <laughs> as long as it's not Kid Rona. Uh, so you guys are making your way through the woods. Indeed we are. Yeah, it doesn't look are like... Are we getting closer? We've been traveling a while now. I would I, imagine we've been traveling close. 10 feet for the last three episodes. What? <laughs> yeah, it's, co- yeah it's, it's been a long 10 feet. <laughs> Yeah, you're having that it's dream. The old boy hallway. You're having the dream where you've got to get to the airport, but each step is like you're in concrete. Mm. Uh, you've been walking for a couple hours through the woods, uh, keeping track of things. You really haven't seen anything odd. It's a very nice day. It's a beautiful I like that. Land. I like all of those things. And uh, uh, up, an eye sort out. of off to the to the right. Illusions up. To, yeah, to the right, you see a uh, uh, you see some movement and you hear some crunching. Oh, dear. And then when you're crunching, when you realize that there's something crunching over there, you stop and that crunching realizes that they've been detected or it's been detected or whatever. And uh, and it stops. So there's a weird... We're being tracked. Well, not really tracked, but noticed. Okay. Mm. That's the vibe that you get, that you've been... Something has realized oh, that you're keep moving here in the woods. Can I... Uh... I'm gonna cast. Uh, can I buff people? Bluff. A buff. Can you buff people? A buffer spell. Can I cast a buffer on, spell uh, where you just have a microphone fall down in front of you and you go, "Let's get ready to <laughs> melee." I can't say rumble because that's we would actually would get sued. I'm gonna cast strength of stone on Dad. Let's get ready to hustle. So I'm gonna do a one d four strength of stone on dad, and that's a strength bonus. Strength bonus on dad for yeah. I'll tell you how many in a second. One. So you get strength <laughs> bonus one for I believe it is. So uh, Nausicaa just comes over and kind rounds. of like rubs your arms for a few times and says, "Nice pythons." I got a one last time too. If I rolled a fucking four, it's a really great spell. But uh, goddamn, All okay. Right. So you've got a strength bonus. Point me in the direction that you want punched. <laughs> Over there. I say we keep moving, but okay. If you wish to attack. Uh, well, you notice that there's sort of a little. Far be it for me. There's a Ben Grimm vibe to uh, to Dag right now. He Neat. looks like he looks like Dag, but he also looks sort of the, like the commish. Yeah, he looks <laughs> looks looks. Michael well, Chiklis. <laughs> he looks, Where'd you get that emo my outfit? My favorite gum. <laughs> uh, real quick, when I was shooting uh, a, a movie with him dressed as the thing, uh-huh. the sequel. That's right. The oh, thing yeah. cool. Uh, he 
Uh, it turns out Michael Chiklis is a big comedy fan, and uh, how yeah. I found out... I always heard he's a really nice guy, too. How I found out is he was in full makeup, thing makeup, my first yeah. day on the set, <laughs> yeah. and he goes, hey, you're a comedian. I go, yeah, and he goes, you're friends of Pat Oswald. I go, yeah, and he goes, that fucking piss drinker's bit, and he's dressed as the thing, <laughs> and he says that fucking piss drinker's bit, and then the, and wow. the guy who now is Captain America... Yeah. But played Johnny Storm in the yeah, first yeah. one. He goes, Pistring goes, what's that? And, and then Chickless does Patton's full bit in front of me, dressed as the thing, and it was the fucking most well, surreal. Well, they did a thing. They did that. Wow. Uh, yeah, YouTube after thing that. Together. Yeah, yeah, a couple years after that. And he was really nice. Yeah, that's how I've always heard. He, uh, that's how I found out he was a comedy fan in like full uh, look, orange fact, makeup. The, the he did my was friend's like the greatest thing ever. Yeah. He, he plays uh, hashtag wars for at midnight on oh, yeah? Twitter, and he's actually really funny. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's a funny great. guy. Well, he also played, um, he did Belushi in, yeah. uh, on Broadway. First, yeah, yeah. Movie. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. And The Shield, of course. Mm -hmm. Great. He, he did play Belushi in The Shield. He played Belushi <laughs> in The Shield and The Shield in The Shield. Mm -hmm. And also. Uh, uh, he did Shield Delicatessen. <laughs> and uh, Shields and Yarnell. Oh, where's what? that going to be a TV? Who's, movie? I don't get that reference. Who's that? <laughs> I can't wait. Remember, he'd wear a robe and have a pipe and. Mm -hmm. All right, what are we doing? You want to go for this bush or not? They did a lot of work with uh, Hug Denny. Uh, sure. Oh yeah, yeah. Shields here, you know. There, well, there was something we heard in the bush. That's what yeah, you crunchy, me. crunchy. All right. Okay, so you guys stop and uh, 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 Nausicaa, your your elf uh, hearing would put this thing at maybe uh, 50, 80 yards. To uh, uh, sort of, I guess, if you were going straight ahead, it would be a little off to your right. Cool. I'll load up an arrow, but I'll wait for Dag to make the Is first move. Is it big? You're not sure it stopped. Okay. But there was definitely some. There was definitely movement and and some. Uh, Why are we attacking? Just because she wants to? No, yeah. no, not uh, not at all. We can keep going. Well, if I'm all stony and shit. I did it for <laughs> protection as much as anything. So. A right. uh, huge blue troll comes out of the woods right at Dag, and it takes a swing at you. And it <laughs> hits, ah. and it does four points of damage. It takes a swing at you with its arm and kind of knocks you. Uh, n sort of, you weren't really braced for it. It came out of uh, out of the angle. It's you're not off your feet, but uh, you've definitely been noticed, motherfucker. I had an arrow ready. I'm gonna put away. Um. All right. Well, is it my turn? Sure, you can respond. Yeah. Uh, uh, dag rebuttal. <laughs> is he blue? Who the, the troll? The, the, blue. the troll that just hit you is is uh is it's very blue? it's cartoony blue and it's bigger than a, most trolls that you've seen. Uh, okay. Um, my frost brand probably won't do me any good on him, right? Because well, it could. I mean, it's still a broadsword, right? But I also have that battle axe. Um, I'm going to do uh, Frostbrand on him. Okay. Is that an 11? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. Okay. 11 plus... Uh, That's a hit. Foe. Do it. Uh, okay. And damage. Uh, three. And then I'm going to go double on him. Okay. I'm going to hit him double. again. Any pluses with your three? Oh, yeah. So eight. Uh, I would only have a nine here, or no, an eight. Yeah. Okay. That's not enough on the second one. Uh, you sort of uh, uh this guy knocks you off your your center of gravity, and you turn around and sort of swing at him baseball style, mm -hmm. and you uh, send one of his arms just sort of flying off into the woods. That's oh, nice. Holy shit. Uh, and uh uh. And while you're doing that, you manage to sort of get your sword jabbed up into his abdomen, hooked behind some ribs, and you sort of do a little weird kinky thing and pull your sword out. And it, uh, uh, there's a weird howl scream. It's very, very hurt, but uh, it's not down. All right, let's get him, guys. Yep. Gang up. Who's up? I'll uh, fastball special him. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a hack at him with the sword. All right. Let's see. So you move over and uh, roll to attack. What sword are you using? Long sword. 17. All right, that's a hit. Mm. And damage for a long sword. Uh, that is uh, 1d6 plus 1. 
And then any pluses. 1d6? 1d6 okay. plus 1. 2 to 7. Against giant. Okay. My long start is uh, originally 1d12. Sure, okay, whatever. No. <laughs> I'll do 6. I'll do 6. 2. Uh... Was it one to twelve? Roll, roll yeah, a twelve side up. I don't want to be a douchebag. Uh, okay, yeah, I think I might have read that wrong. I'm sorry. I was looking at Dianetics. <laughs> Dianetics is never wrong. Cast those Thetans out. Um, going to cast those Thetans right out of my hair. Going to cast five, them. five. All right. Uh, so Dag, you sort of uh. uh you're still a little pissed off. You get out of the way, and all of a sudden there's a weird uh, swing uh, of a blade, and this thing sort of collapses because uh, you see that Nausicaa sort of come up behind, did a little move with her sword down through the neck, and this thing is down on the ground. But if you know trolls, you know that they don't stay dead for very long. They kind of regenerate. So I don't know if you guys want to do anything. Yeah, let's chop his limbs off and his head. Yeah, his head. Winter can throw a web on him if you want. Okay, that Winter's... doesn't last forever. So you're going to... Winter starts conjuring up a web, and another troll comes out of the woods behind Winter hmm. and, uh, and takes a swing at Winter and does uh, two points of damage against Winter. Um. And this is uh, another big blue troll. Uh, can I do any damage on this? Like, am I big enough to hurt him if I step on his, uh, on his face and eye, eye sockets? And can I? What, the one that's on the ground? The one that's prone, yeah. Uh, how much damage did you do? Uh, five. Bunches. Okay, well, yeah, well, he's... He's dead, I would think, but, right, but they he do. Said he might come back to life. Yeah, but. they do regenerate in a while. You, as a matter of fact, you look over at the the arm that went flying, and the arm is still kind of moving around, uh, kind of doing a little reanimator thing. Oh, I forgot my strength bonus for. Uh, never mind. I'll get it next time. So, I'm but uh, take his head off. Okay, sure. Yeah. I'm I'm casting. I'm picking up a stick and casting a spell on it. It's two rounds, so I got to. You got to start on that one. Okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, this thing takes a swing. It hits uh, hits Winter for a couple of points. Uh, is Winter going to respond? Is Winter going to do anything? Yeah, Winter will hit him with his rapier. Or was he starting a, a, up a web spell? Well, like, I think he got get, it off, right? Yeah, I don't know. Because we were just standing over its body, so there was no combat for a second there. Uh, right? Or, you know what? I'm going to do a... a I'm going to do a little DM thing here. Yeah. And I'm going to say that when this thing turns around and uh, and hits Winter, that Winter turns around and fires the web up into whatever's attacking it. Okay. So Winter fires a web spell at the at the uh, the, the troll, just, troll? At, that just came out of the woods to attack him. Okay. So that one, uh, uh, that troll is all webbed up. It can't really attack or anything, but it's still on its feet. All right. All right, so the guy on the, on the ground, is his head off? Can we... Brian takes his head off, yes, right, while okay. that whole thing is going on. Cool. Uh, uh, you might want to... Let's take a quick break. Sure, why not? And we're back. All right. So, you go to Paris, France. Yeah, who's up, <laughs> who's up versus the, uh, b- the webbed giant? Well, I'm, casting, troll. I'm casting and avoiding getting hit right now. Okay. So it's um, dag. Well, now, so I would go after this uh, this other guy one, sure. as soon as I get the guy a turn. that just got webbed. Oh, the second guy got webbed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah the but new I guy. Still, yeah. He's in capacity. Till the third one shows up, I want to kill this one. Right now. All right. Sure. Ditto. What makes you think there's going to be a third, fourth, fifth, <laughs> sixth, and seventh one? A <laughs> kill on him, little brother. Trolls are very solitary. Uh, Fourteen <coughs> plus four, eighteen. Sure. Why don't you roll for damage? All right. That sounds great. <laughs> That's a hit. Whoa. Uh, uh, 13, please. <laughs> okay, that's great. Uh, this, uh, uh, you sort of go crazy on this guy because he's all webbed up. So you sort of, uh, since he's on his feet still, 
you sort of jump up and stick your sword into them like you're kind of climbing a phone pole. Uh-huh. And you sort of jump up, and with both feet, you uh, you use the web, and you jump up a little farther and stick your sword in his chest and kind of couch that up a little bit. Yeah. And then you're standing on his chest, and you do a little weird swing, and his head kind of comes off, but it's hanging by a little piece of piece of skin, Sucks. like a weird piece of skin. And you uh, do a really funny uh, backflip down onto the ground. And... Uh, uh, you're still, you still have that spell going on. So you're feeling pretty good about yourself. It was a very nice move. Nice. Let's take a look at that clip. <laughs> still alive, by the way. He's uh, the the head is hanging off by a weird piece of skin, <laughs> like speed buggy or. Finish him. Yeah, I'll I'll take a swing to try to knock the rest of his head off. All right. Ten plus. I have. Do I have an attack bonus? Plus two. Okay, and you're using a what? Longsword. Uh, so Nausicaa runs over and sort of jumps up with the longsword and does like a swing like she's trying to hit a light bulb with a broomstick. And uh, the tip of her sword goes into the head and uh, out the back, and there's a weird sort of cascade of some brain and blood and stuff. Uh, but this one is uh, now sort of kind of collapses the knees lock and it kind of dies in a weird Don Martin position. But there's a webbed, webbed up troll. Uh, They're both headless at this point. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Yeah. Your heads are disconnected? I uh, I shout at the bushes. Are there any more of you? You haven't heard us yet. Uh, yeah, there are two more that come out of the woods when they hear you and they say, we're right over here. Uh, one of them comes at Great. you because you were yelling stuff, and let me <laughs> let me see one, two, three, four. I should be ready to try to dodge, right? Uh, you can, yeah, you can try to dodge. Yes. Uh, you should because they're both coming at you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely trying to just <laughs> tuck and roll. All right, cool. <clears throat> so uh, two of these guys come at you, and uh, hey, roll six sided just to just I would see. love to. Four. Four. Uh, okay, cool. I also have a dex of 17, if that helps. Uh, very nice. 17 what? <laughs> uh, so here, you sort of, uh, uh, these two things come at you. You, uh, uh, you sort of do a big up and back flip out of the way, very elfy. And they both kind of do a little whoa. They both do a really funny comical grab, and they both miss. And then they stop, and there's a weird sort of flute sting, and they look at each other, and there's some visible question marks. They both turn around, they start coming at you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you did not attack, you just dodge? Uh, who wins it? My Winters. turn again. I think Winters' Winters turn is it. You see, you see these guys, you can pick one to close on if you wish. Okay. I can? Uh, Dag can. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, I think Winter. Uh, winter's up. Yeah, and what are you doing? You're Winter's still... going to rape your... Okay. This guy. So... Pardon. Yeah, 14. 14. 14, that's a hit. And then it is... And then the eight, I believe... Yeah. For four. For four? Yeah. Okay. Then I believe my spell would pop now. Okay, and, and your I'm, spell? I've cast a spell to make my stick look like... Nausicaa's longsword. Okay. And I will attack the damaged troll. The damaged troll, and so uh, that troll has to do a save. Yes, save against spell. Against spell. Uh, I rolled a six. Oh, you rolled a six? I rolled a six. Okay. Does that matter? Do I, have to, I guess I have to roll for the attack, right? Yeah, you do have to roll for the attack. Okay. And the attack was a miss? A six. A six? You have any, okay. and any pluses? I don't think so, no. Okay. Uh, uh, you sort of take this this stick that you found. It's got some leaves on it and stuff. And uh, uh, you go, ho ha, on guard. <laughs> ho, ha. <laughs> thrust, turn, parry, dodge, spin, ha, thrust. <laughs> and uh, uh, you sort of uh, jab at this troll. And uh, the troll sort of looks down and sees this guy sort of waving a stick at him. <laughs> and uh, does a t- funny take the camera. I clear my throat and slowly step backwards. All right, cool. And uh, <laughs> and he takes a swing at you. Oh dear. And uh, and he knocks you back and does three points of damage. Owies. Knocks you back like maybe ten yards. He really nice. backhanded you. Nice. This is big, huge, filthy fingernail troll hands. It's like getting attacked by Pete Doherty. 
<laughs> Ever seen that guy's fingernails? Yeah. I love him, but Jesus. All right. My turn? Yeah, Dag. Yeah, okay, so Dag, Dag is still, uh, I think this uh, is your double he's turn still got his Rocky yeah. spell going on. Yeah. He moves over to uh, one of the trolls. Is it the one that, uh, is it going to be the another troll, yeah, or is it going to be the one that you just saw uh, your friend wave a stick at? Uh, yeah, whichever one's closest. I'll, I'll take that one. All right. Boo. Hmm. <laughs> but. Yay. Okay, that's two. That's a boo and a so yay. I heard a boo and a yay. A two and a, and a 15. Okay, so roll for yay. So uh, roll for yay damage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ten. Yay! All right, cool. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a big yay. There's uh, that troll falls to the ground in sort of an upper torso head unit, a middle torso and organs unit, and a lower legs and hips unit. Nice. And genitals. Yeah, there's definitely genitals there someplace, so but they're hot. they're nasty troll genitals. I try to I try to I can't do it. We can just do a Bob version of Steve. That's a pretty good one. Uh, well, I try those genitals. I try those with that. Uh, while Steve is trying to trace these genitals, uh, he uh, uh, he drops his pencil and he ducks it. Just and you look I over and see this pencil. this huge fist close right over where he, he would have been. Oh no! If he wouldn't have ducked to get his dick tracing oh, pencil, he would have been crushed by a troll hammer. <laughs> So, uh, uh, but then he stands up and the fist hits him on the head comedy style. Gunk. And there's a comp coconut sound and he does a point of damage. Bink. So we've got. And there's that, that goofy Gilligan music plays. Bum, 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 bum. bum. So there's two <laughs> beheaded <laughs> trolls. <laughs> one, there's two beheaded trolls. One, one is fine and one is disemboweled and not yeah, quite. Yeah, one's in three pieces and one is completely healthy. And that's the one that is. Uh, uh, that's the one that just tried to grab Winter. Wait, who's up? Did you say have an earthquake? What was that? Was oh, you fucker! <laughs> what are you um, gonna fear of earthquakes? Your no, I, I don't going. enjoy them. I've grown up around them. Don't love them. I All right, that shit. I'm gonna. Oh God, I feel like Make I'm gonna. Do, 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 at the risk do, do, of do. of. Uh, of of being lame, uh, I feel like Nausicaa, if I'm going to role play this, she's going to look at all the dead bodies and she's going to get super cocky. Okay. So she's just going to laugh at the last healthy one. Okay. For this round and not attack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, so That's good. Okay. I like Winters. it. I like it. Who's I that? like this Nausicaa. Winter? I'm coming around. So the, uh, the troll stops and watches Nausicaa laughing. And uh, looks over and tries to figure out where Carlos Mencia could possibly be <laughs> performing. <laughs> doesn't really see anything and so does not understand why anybody would be laughing if there's no presence of Carlos Mencia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why? how could laughter exist I, without Carlos Mencia? I think that's what trolls think. It doesn't. Yeah, it, it cannot. It simply cannot. It can't even be a, a contraction. Uh, I think uh, Winter's going to lay his rapier on the... Winter's going to lay his rapier. Confused lay Carlos Mencia your fan. rapier on me. That's an eight. That's an eight. Does he have any, any pluses or anything? He has any pluses. I don't think so. No. All right. So uh, so he kind of jumps up and tries to do a pinata on this troll's balls, and it doesn't really happen. All right. I will dirk it at he... All right, so... Uh, uh, I jerk at thee, I jerk at thee, I jerk at thee. And then you have to dog poop on her wow, shoes. Wow, I'm... Oh, 17. I thought there was a four. So oh, okay. Good. So he rolls a 17. Hug and is hit with his dirk. Hug and dirk. You guys oh. ought to get gay married. I rolled the wrong die. Oh, sorry. It was exciting. All right, I got a two on him. You got a two, any pluses? <laughs> nope. All right. Uh... So you jump up and you manage to do a little damage across this uh, this troll's uh, legs. Nice. Yeah, you do. You, uh, uh, maybe up into the abdomen a little bit. So I braided his thighs. Yeah. So uh, he's going to turn around, and uh, uh, he does not do anything. He's just trying to f sort of figure out what's going on. He's got a lot of shit going on. Around. I attack. <laughs> <laughs> Brian like uh, chucked his and knife. And he came in his pants. <laughs> 
Yep. Nice. What's it's that? a hit. It's a 12 plus a, a 4, so that's a 16. Okay. So why don't you roll for some damage? All right. I just had uh, eight. Mm, mm, oh. Yeah, sticking that five again. Uh, ten. Five. So ten? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, that is uh, kind of a fatal hit. Mm. Good. So, and, uh, I mean, fatal being a... Uh, uh, I love that 80s softcore porn movie. Fatal hit. Fatal hit. Fatal hit. Fatal hit. Was Andrew Stevenson in mm-hmm. that? <laughs> Andrew Stevens is the bastard. Oh, right. It was this Stevens, yeah. Stevens. Uh, oh, by the way, can I tell you what I had to do uh, uh, on at midnight today? I had to change, in a joke, I had to change bastard to shithead. <laughs> for standards for, and practices? For, for, le- for legal, because we couldn't imply, because we were making fun of a toddler who was yeah, crying, right. and we couldn't say imply that he was illegitimate, but we could call him a shithead. <laughs> Right so we changed uh, we changed bastard to shithead. I uh, I got that's to, today's network note. Things have changed. Yeah, I got and to you know what was a, funny uh, is they suggested shithead. <laughs> well, shit's all Aww. good now. Yeah, it all worked out. That's my favorite Motley Crue song on "Shout at the Devil." What shithead? Yeah, shithead. <laughs> no, there's a bastard. A song called "Bastard." Oh. Shithead <laughs> should have been a shithead dead. Shit head. Did you ever see that movie, uh, Shit Eddie and the Cruisers? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just saw a Eddie and the Cruisers poster somewhere, and I. Sorry. Well, we're at an hour, and uh, here, let me keep talking about Eddie movies. And the Cruisers, <laughs> so it's time to go. Yeah, let's talk about Annie Potts for twenty minutes. I liked uh, Annie Potts. She, she was hot. She's she was still alive. Cor- yeah. She's in Corvette Summer with Mark Hamill. Mm-hmm. TV's Luke Skywalker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wasn't she? She was in uh, Ghostbusters, right? Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah she played Rick Moranis. One. Temperatures Rising. She was the cool uh, Thanks, record Sam. store chick in <laughs> yeah. uh, Pretty in Pink. She likes the... She was the older weirdo. She's the poor man stalker she Channing. Likes tiny dicks? Yeah, she likes sucking tiny dicks. No. <laughs> she likes to smoke on the weedo, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I, I still don't. <laughs> that's that's the still, lingo they use now. I still have no uh, idea what you're talking it's about. It's the weedo. She likes to mm, harf a split. I don't know why you're doing what? Mario. Now. Harf a split. <laughs> What are you working for, Mad it's Magazine? It's a me, I'm Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> Orange is the new blech. <laughs> She'll honk a spanker now and then. <laughs> That's what they would do. Absolutely. Orange is the new blech. Yeah. Well, we stayed up all night, but it was worth it. <laughs> but everybody hates me. Uh, uh, you got anything to plug? Uh, I will be at the uh, uh, Moon Tower County Festival in Austin uh, at, uh, the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Okay, and uh, come on by. I'm doing a kind of a new bluegrass direction. So I like it. You get your banjo? Or your yeah, just, uh, just a lot of mandolin stuff, nice. a lot of instrumentals, and then Q&A. Sweet. Yeah, we got, we got uh, Adventurer's Day still happening at Disneyland. On oh, April, nice. April 26th. Oh, yeah, cool. And also the uh, Ralph McQuarrie show goes until the 26th. The oh, yeah, Creature yeah. Features in Brewing. There's a very strong chance I'll go to that. Yeah, I'd love to go out. see that. Uh, I'll be at uh, Rock on the Range in Columbus on... Uh, God, is the 15th of May? Uh, that's my first gig back. Well, actually, uh, my first gig back is Brea. I'll be at the Brea Improv uh, the first weekend of May. Well, actually, it's the second weekend. It's like the 8th or whatever it is. I'm there with uh, Tony Kameen. Oh, awesome. Sweet. Tony Kameen is awesome. We love Tony. Tony's an, yeah, old, please go see- an old, old friend. Very Don't funny. go see Brian. Go see He's Tony Kameen. Go old. to see the feature and then leave before I come out with my <laughs> fucking bullshit. Go for the Tony. <laughs> Stay for the for the Brian. And then uh, tickets just went on sale for my uh, Comic-Con shows. It's the week of Comic-Con. Uh, that Wednesday, I believe it's the 8th of July. It's just you dressed like Slave Leia. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's the whole uh, show. Talking about Don't my miss it. Um, no, but it's uh, my new special, um, Criminally Posein. <laughs> <laughs> When's the Posein clown posse happening? <laughs> um, but no, we're... Uh, uh, Bobcat's doing it with me. I'm super fucking awesome. excited oh, wow. about it. So uh, wow. he's producing it with yeah, me. Yeah, he's and, great at and, it. And uh, he's directed them before, and he knows what he's doing. He's fantastic. Uh, he did really well with uh, one of Patton's specials a couple years ago. Yeah. He directed me doing Stephen Hawking for a Mind of Mencia bit. <laughs> oh, really? Things. Yeah. <laughs> we, we all went down to Long Beach in a van. He was like, well, what's going on? Yeah, he's the <laughs> nicest guy. I've he's, been friends with Bobcat for a long yeah, time. Yeah, he's and, like uh, a comedy superhero, that guy. Yeah, he really is, yeah. Um, anything else? Anybody? 
Got any pluggies? Uh, oh, I, the our online presence. Yeah, to... yeah. Uh, go follow us on Twitter, all that stuff. Still trying to get Vin Diesel's attention. We're yes. on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Hey, I haven't been pushing the Vin thing because he's doing so much promotion for this movie, and I, I kind of I, – I feel like this would be different. I don't want him to – Think of it as part of a promotion, I, I'll, and so I'll push it again in like a week or two. Once, once, because it feels like they're gone. Yeah. If you follow him on uh, Instagram, they're like in foreign lands, yeah, I was gonna like say, showing the movie. Right yeah, yeah, they're all over the place. Uh, but yeah. uh, I'll start pushing it again. I uh, and we I, have some other people now, so a couple of other people that know him that we're gonna try right. once things calm down to really Van make this Diesel, happen. Von Diesel. Man. Um, Jim Diesel, I'll ha- I'll, all the Diesels. At some point this summer or fall, I have an, an album coming out that'll be fun. Awesome. And uh, I think I'm flying. I finally found a venue in Chicago that would fly me out again, and so that'll probably it's happen called in O'Hare. August. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right on. Thanks, you guys. See you next week. This has been an Earwolf Media production. Executive producers Jeff Ulrich and Scott Aukerman. For more information, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolfradio.com